Hello guys, welcome to another video. So I'm out here in the woods today to hopefully show you a new way of brewing coffee in the woods that you won't have seen before. I'm going to try and brew some bushcraft coffee inside of an orange. Can it be done? Who knows? Let's find out. So first things first, I need to get out of this rain because it's absolutely chucking it down. It's not going to let up at all all day so I've um, gathered some wood earlier, some drier wood um, and then we're going to string up a tarp here and hopefully do it down there. So as I say guys, I'm going to cut into an orange, scoop out all the insides and brew the coffee actually inside the orange. I've seen it being done on Turkish coffee so I've actually opted for some Turkish coffee today. Um, I am a fan of Turkish coffee anyway so this hopefully should be a nice brew with an orange zesty taste. I can already smell that orange, man. It's so fresh. <laughs> Might even put some of that orange juice into the cookser. To give it a really orangey flavor have that at the bottom of the coffee. All right, let's get a fire on. So what we actually want here is um, for all this just to die down to literally coals, um, a little bed of embers to, um, to brew the coffee on. So I'm just quite enjoying the reflection of the heat up on this tarp because it's absolutely chucking it down as you can see. So it's just good to get out the rain and warm up a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm going to leave this as small as it is. I'm not going to build it anymore and we just need a little bed of embers just to do our orange coffee.
that's just starting to brew now. It's been on only about 45 seconds or so. It'll take about a minute and a half. It's looking good. We might give it one stir, let the creamer rise to the top, as you should with all Turkish coffee, and then do a double boil and it should be ready. Look at it. So we're just going to give it a little stir now. And then let all that creamer rise to the top. Ready to pour. Whoa. Oh man. So I'm just going to stir the uh, Turkish coffee at the bottom, mix it in with all that orange. And while I'm doing that, I've just got a little bit of water um, going in there, uh, just to top it off, because obviously Turkish coffee is just a shot of coffee, so I'm going to do some hot water um, in the remains. It will take on some of the flavour anyway, so I'm just going to try and boil this and then get it in there, ready for a drink. So there's just the water ready to top the coffee up. Well, I'll call that a success. Beautiful. I mean, oh, you can see how wet it was. <laughs> So, just going to square away this. Um, they're on plastic knots, so they're adjustable, which is quite good. Um, so, I'm just going to square this away. Get it in the bag, get out of here. Right, that was me down there. Nothing but flattened leaves. That was the holly I tied out to. So, yeah, just flattened leaves. Leave no trace. Always try and have as much of a respect or symbiotic sort of relationship with nature as you possibly can um, and leave it as you found it essentially um, that's the end of the video guys so like I say it's chucking it down I'm gonna I'm gonna blitz it to the car got my bag cover got oh, the wettest top on earth dangling from me because it's that bad so um, yeah without further ado guys if you have liked the video give it a little like below don't forget to subscribe below if you're new to the channel um, and like bushcraft content and yeah, I'll see you again on the next one Yo. Yo. Entering the planet, we were born in 1990s Censoring the damage through the years quite precisely Peppering the cabbage every day with new rhyme schemes Venturing the stranded entirely unlike